Hello and welcome to Kids Zone. How's your week been? Well, we've had a lot of rain this week, haven't we? Did you get thunder where you were? We had thunder and torrential rain coming down one day. So I guess you've had to spend a lot of the week indoors, haven't you? Here's something you can do. Are you any good at standing on one leg? Well, how about challenging the people you're in the ring with? He can stand on one leg for the longest without falling over. And if you find that really easy, try again, but with your eyes closed. Press pause and have a go. Well, it's raining again. In our story, there's some rain. Actually, there's lots of rain. And for one person, that's okay. But for someone else, that's a bit of a problem. Let's listen to this story that Jesus told. As people listened to what Jesus had to say, the people divided into groups. Many were eager to hear more. They wanted to know how to please God. Some were suspicious or angry at this way of teaching. It was different from the teaching of the scribes and the Pharisees. So Jesus told a story. If you listen to me and do what I say, you will be like the wise man who built his house on a rock. Before he started work, the man made sure that his house had firm foundations on the rock. Then, when the rain battered against the house and the wind blew around it, it did not collapse. It remained firm and solid. If you take no notice of what I have said, you will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. When the wind blew, and the rain beat against his house. It had no foundations, and so it fell down. The walls and roof, the door and all his belongings were swept away. Don't be like the foolish man, regretting his mistake when it is too late to change things. Be like the wise man, listen well and act on what you hear. So Jesus said, be like the wise man, listen well and act on what you hear. So I wonder what other things that Jesus says that we should do. Why don't you talk to someone with you and think, what are the things that Jesus says and what are the things that we should do? Well, I wonder what you came up with. There are lots of things that Jesus says and that we can do. I've got three in my mind. Jesus said we could pray to Father God. That's a really good thing to do. 
And Jesus said, we should tell people, other people, about Jesus too. That'll be good, then they can know about Jesus' love. And Jesus said we could love our neighbour. Showing God's love to everyone. That's a good idea too, isn't it? You know, the wonderful thing is that Jesus is with us all the time by God's Holy Spirit. And God's Holy Spirit helps us not just to listen to Jesus, but to do those things as well. And that gives us real joy to know that Jesus is with us all the time. So let's stand and sing about this joy that Jesus gives us. about the wise man who built his house on a rock so that it would be strong. Rocks come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, these ones are quite small. I like the way rocks look and feel. When I found these, they made me think about something we could do. I've washed them and these ones I've painted. I've put some Christian signs on them. Signs of faith, which people use to show that they love Jesus. I thought we could perhaps paint some rocks like this, or just put
put a sign on it and we could leave them maybe on a walk if you go up to the country park perhaps with mum and dad you might be able to leave one and I wonder if somebody who found that rock might wonder why there's a Christian sign of faith on it. There are all sorts of signs. This is one you know already. There are others like these. Different ways to draw the cross. And here's the dove of peace. And this one looks like a fish. That's what I've put on here. Do you know why Christians sometimes use this sign? It's because Jesus told his disciples they were fishers of men, that they were going to go out and tell lots of people all about him. If we make these rocks with signs of our faith, maybe that's a way we can tell people about Jesus. Father God, we pray that anyone who is given or finds one of these rocks will be drawn closer to you and learn more about you. Amen. Hi everyone, I've got a really good idea for our prayers today. I've made my house out of Lego. I'm going to just put the last bits of roof on now. We have a big window at the bottom, and a front door that looks a bit like my front door, and a garage door that looks a bit like it. Maybe you could make your home out of Lego too. If you want to, press pause and go and make it out of Lego now. Or if you don't want to make it out of Lego, maybe you could draw it on a piece of paper. Now, we are going to say a prayer about our home and everyone who lives in it. I'm going to say, Heavenly Father, please watch over everyone who lives in our home with your love. And please watch over everyone who lives in the homes in our street with your love. And please watch over everyone and in their homes in our family. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of Kids Zone for this week. It's been good that you can join us and we'll be back again with more Kids Zone next week. Don't forget to send in any photos that you've done of your painted rocks or any Lego that you've built. We'd love to see it. And I don't know what the week's going to be like, whether we'll have more rain or sunshine, but I hope you have a good week and God bless you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.